beautiful people. It's been a while. Um, I have this goal to upload more frequently. I've been pretty consistent every three months. That's what we're rolling with right now. But um, I, I'm hoping to upload maybe every two weeks. I don't know. I really like the filming process and the editing process. I just thought I would take you guys along with me to clean up my desk and I'll show you guys what's in my pencil case. Also, I am extremely hunched over right now because my tripod is way too short for my <laughs> Um, yeah, my back hurts. Why don't you just sit back like this? What the heck? Anyways, we got the rings on, so that means we're gonna get stuff done today. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's start cleaning. As you guys can see, we have a lot of stuff everywhere and I need to fix that before I do my what's in my pencil case. Let's start cleaning. Guys, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Hello, um, voiceover Effie here. I hate doing voiceovers, honestly, but I'm gonna give it a try. So here's my pencil case. As you can see, it's very compact, very thin. Um, it's a Lit Hit Lab Smart, let me check actually. Lit Hit Lab Smart Fit pencil case. And I took off the original string things and made these tassels back in like, I don't know, grade nine in high school. Um, I just thought they're a lot cuter and fun. Um, so we open up the pencil case. And first thing we have is the eraser that Julia gifted to me from Japan. It's super cute and it works very, very well. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. But I also have this really small pencil. I think I found it off of the floor somewhere. I'm not sure. I've just had it for a very long time. <laughs> so I decided to keep it for nostalgic purposes. And here's how the pencil is. It's just a regular HP pencil, but let me show you how well the eraser works. And look at that, it's like magic. And my favorite bit is that every, all the dust bits come off in one piece so you don't have a mess everywhere. Now looking at the left side pockets, we're going to look at the sticky notes and tabs. First we have these labels, um, sticky labels from Post-it. I don't really use them very often, but I still have them just in case I need them. And then we have these Molang sticky notes and they're all super cute. I try not to use them very often because I don't want them to finish because I don't remember where I got them from. But um, yep, I have those in my pencil case as well. And now these page flags, which Julia also gifted to me from Japan. I love them so much. They're a bunch of different animals and they're super, super cute. 
I used to use them all the time in high school. I'm surprised they're not finished by now. And we have something else that Julia gifted to me from Japan, just this Mona Lisa sticky pad, sticky note pad, which I don't use very often, but it comes in handy. I have a protractor for some reason. I didn't know this was in here, honestly, while I was filming this. And I don't, <laughs> you can see in the clip here, I don't really remember how to use protractors. Is that what it's called, protractor? I think so. I might Google that later. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I just, there, look, it's an angle, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Now looking at the right pocket component, I have more page flags. These ones are by Post-it and they're like a plastic film-like material. They are super cute in the designs. I use them very often. First we have this fine liner by Windsor & Newton that Beryl gifted to me for Christmas, I think last year. Um, they're really nice. I have a bunch of them in a pen cup on my desk. I just have this one in my pencil case because it's my favorite size. If you look at the little demonstration right there, it writes very smooth. As you can see, the tip is super, super fine. So you have to be careful while using it, but it's a great pen. Next, we have the red Pilot Juice Pen. And I'm just noticing now, um, I put the wrong footage here. I actually tried out the pink pilot juice pen in this clip right here but you'll see the red it, it just just imagine that they're switched honestly they're super smooth i believe that they're 0 0.38 in size yep and i also have this in blue which this one also, I mean, it works very well. It's my favorite blue pen, honestly. And you can see I really like the clips. I love a pen with a good clip. And here it is in pink. The clip is broken on this one, but that's okay. It still works very well. And this is me swatching the red from before. And as you can see on the red one, the clip is actually gone. I can't remember how this broke, but I've had these pens for a very, very long time. So I do expect some damage. Next, I have the Zebra Sarasta clip pen in 0.5. And I believe this is, I forgot the color name, but it's like a mustard yellow and it's really, really pretty. I forgot to swatch this one, so you'll just have to imagine it on paper. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and next we have another Zebra Sarasa clip, but this is the vintage color, another mustardy yellow. Can you tell I really like this color? It's a camel yellow, I think is what it's called. And it's also in 0 0.5, and here's me swatching it. Sorry, I had quite difficulty with the focus of my camera. But as you can see, it writes very, very smooth. The color is very, very pretty. And finally, we have the Pilot Friction Pastel Highlighter in Pink. Um, I don't know when I bought this. I have a whole set of them in my stationery collection. They work very, very well, and I love things that can be erased. <laughs> and this highlighter is erasable. So I'm just going to show you in the demo here, just the mild color. And then if you flip it around, there's a rubber eraser. 
or a plastic eraser. I don't know what it is. It just, it erases. It works very well. And then we have the empty pencil case. And I guess I'm just showing you guys how thin it is again. It's very, very compact, which is nice because it fits in almost any bag, honestly. Um, yeah, and just, I'm just spinning it around for some reason. Yeah, and that's the end of the voiceover. <laughs> Bye. Hopefully voiceover effort. I forgot the little pencil. <laughs> We're gonna just put that back in there. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. Um, I used to watch so many of these when I was younger and I always wanted to make one myself. But I didn't have much of an audience. I still don't have much of an audience here on YouTube, but <laughs> It's okay. Hopefully that was exciting for some of you guys. I'm not sure. Actually, I just realized I never showed you guys what I was listening to. Here we go. Can y'all see that? She's a baby, Zico. I love this song. It reminds me of summer 2017, which is the year I graduated elementary school, which is really crazy. <laughs> Anyways. My camera is about to die, so I guess I should sign off here. Um, have a wonderful day, y'all, or night. I don't know where you live. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to color grade this video. I've never color graded before, but hopefully I can figure that out on my own. If not, I'll go on YouTube and look up a tutorial. <laughs> oh, this is so unrelated, but look at this pretty orchid. My dad got me for Valentine's Day. It's it's so cute. It just sits right here on my desk so I can stare at it when I'm working, which is really nice because I like pretty flowers. I actually might draw these. That will be a different video. Okay. Peace.